Hi guys, it's Max here with DartsReviews.tv in association with DartsPlanet.tv. Today we have the Mernon darts. What can I say, Joe Mernon? Fairly simple looking dart, but uh, we don't know until we throw them. Grip doesn't look too deep, so I might struggle a bit. I've got hard fingers, so I, I do like a bit of grip. But we'll go over to the board, we'll have a throw, and we'll see what we think. Okay, we're over having a look at the Joe Mellon darts. Obviously, we've got this beautiful sort of like heartbeat pattern here on the box with Joe Mellon written down the left-hand side, nice big mission logo. And we have the window showing the whole dart there and the setup. And we've got the 22 gram steel tip match weighted darts and again, mission logo. Up on the back, we have the heartbeat Joe Mellon logo there. With a little bit about mission darts, what's in the box, and the fact they're 0 0.05 gram match weighted, so they're evenly weighted, so each dart should fly the same. Mission logo and a bit of a safety warning, but we'll get the darts out and have a look. Here we go. Okay, we've got this lovely electric sort of blue with his little logo in up at the top on the flights. We've got the three darts going into a dart point holder and we've got the sabre stems there. They look like the sh sort of like the tweeny short ones. We'll get one out and have a look. And here we go. Right, well, we've got a standard short point there at the front, the matte black going into this ball nose. It's a very short ball nose, very rounded, going into a very simple single cut ring going all the way down, say about three quarters of the dart almost. And I I can't feel the rings cut out that much with my fingers. They're fairly hard, but if you've got soft fingers, I'm sure you'll feel them yourself. It's central weighted, it's a parallel dart, so it's nice and smooth, nice and straight. And again, simple ring grip all the way down. They're very wide, so I'm not expecting lots of grip on this. And then obviously we'll go into the Mission Etched logo there with the two very fine rings cut out and a couple of extra rings at the back going into the taper, which goes into the Sabre stem. Right, well, these particular darts are 6.35 millimetres wide, so a standard sort of width for most darts nowadays, and they're 48 millimetres long. So they're not the longest dart, but they're definitely not short by any means. And I'll have a go at them. And we'll see how we get on. We'll have a decent sort of like review at the end about how I threw them and the grip rating. But at the moment, I'm thinking these are definitely a very smooth dart. So you're looking at if you need lots of grip. I'm not thinking these are going to be the ones. But we'll have a throw because I might be wrong. We'll get them up on the board and see how they go. OK, we're over the board. We've got Joe Merlin starts here. Not a massive lot of grip. We've got some uh, blue rings cut in there. Standard, what can I say, they're a nice parallel dart, good starting point. Got the uh, little logo on the flights as well and the uh, grippy sabre stems. But we'll have a practice, just so I can get used to the darts really. And then go into our 201 practice routine, see how many darts we can do it in. Try and keep it under nine, as you know, that's my sort of aiming point and practice area. But let's have a go. Going straight. Steady 60. Definitely feels smooth with my fingers. I've got like hard calloused skin, so can't really squeeze into the grooves. Oh, going wide. Uh, 41. It's, it's fairly straight, so we'll go into our 201 practice routine. Game on. Oh, into the treble one. Oh, 64. Not the steadiest of starts. 137 left to get. Oh, that's 40. Oh, 59. 78 left to get. Ah, 
Ah, oh, there we go. We've got it in two darts. That's not too bad. Well, eight darts. I'm happy with that. Started off steady. I was a bit upset that I went into the ones there with two of those. But to me, these were a very smooth dart. I do like a bit of grip there or a little push point that I can push with. But uh, I think we'll go and have a review on these. Okay, we've had a throw here of the Joe Merlin darts. I did find it a bit slippery, but uh, I didn't do too bad. I threw eight darts, started off steady, 64, 59, 78 finish, which is always good in two darts as well, treble double. And uh, well, they're, they're a simple dart. They're, they're not over exaggerated. They're not massive grip, but uh, these come in at 44.95. That's a good mid-price point. They are 90% tungsten, so you're getting a bit of weight in there. And uh, what can I say? It's a mid-price point. You're not overpaying for the dart. You're not paying for loads of extra milling. Uh, these particular darts come in on 22 and 24 gram. There's not a massive range, but 22s, 23s and 24s is what most people are using nowadays, especially in league darts. But these are good for at home as well. If you're starting out, they're a nice straight parallel dart. They haven't got loads of grip, so you haven't got to worry about where you're holding it because it's consistent across the whole length of the uh, barrel. I only gave it a one grip rating because obviously, like I said, I've got hard fingers. They don't slip into those grooves. So for me, it was a very smooth dart, um, but I didn't do too bad. Um, but I'll tell you what, if you've got a set of these or you're getting a set, why not head over to YouTube or dartsreviews.tv or even download the app and let us know what you think. If you disagree with anything I said, I'd love to hear that from you. I love criticism. And as always, make sure you tip subscribe or tip the notifications as well. And keep an eye out for reviews coming up in the future. We've got loads more darts, accessories and so forth. But I'd love to see you coming back and uh, check it out. See you soon.